Welcome to our series on Ignatian Wisdom. My name is Kevin Leidig. I'm one of the pastoral ministers here at El Rotero. We've been going through the autobiography of Ignatius and looking at the lessons that he learned from his own life. And today we want to take a look at how he's wounded. Now I've always wanted to say it all began with a cannonball, but really for Ignatius it really did. He wasn't a soldier by trade, he was a diplomat, but he found himself in the army under Duke of Nehera uh, once he left the court life. And he was at Pamplona defending that fortress against the French coming down trying to take over Navarre uh, as opposed to the King of Spain. Um, he was uh, in battle and he was wounded by a cannonball which shattered one leg and broke the other. And he was out for the count. Uh, French doctors on the battlefield uh, worked on a leg, they fixed it the best they could, and then he was allowed Ignatius to be transported for a couple weeks by litter uh, back to his hometown because of his nobility. When he got back to Loyola, his hometown, they discovered that the leg was jostled uh, in transport. It did not set properly. It had to be rebroken in order for it to be set. And that's what Ignatius endured. Uh, his leg was rebroken and reset. But then they noticed that there was a knob from one of the bones sticking out from the leg. And Ignatius being full of vainglory, uh, that was unacceptable. He did not look well. He had no prospect of dancing well or, uh, or even walking uh, very well. So he had the knob sawed off. Now it's a bit gruesome, but it tells us the state of mind of Ignatius at that time. He underwent what he called a butchery in order so he can look well, he can dance well, fight, and so forth. Uh, tells us how, how stubborn he was, but also how he was ready to risk death in order to, uh, for the attention of the world, to look well for his vanity. Later on, he puts this detailed description of his wounding and, and the butchery of his operations and his recovery in his autobiography to teach us a lesson that he learned looking back at that experience, that the vanities of the world are, do not hold any weight compared to uh, the life of Christ that he will begin to experience at the time of his conversion. Ignatius went from one extreme to another, uh, went from being very vain to eventually becoming very much concerned with his spirituality. And we'll look at that in the next few sessions. So thank you very much.